can right here. Dumbass shit. So they win a championship, and then we play them, and we come back from 3-1, and we beat them. But that was the best regular season, probably the best team I had or have ever played against. They go 73-9. and nine. Is it just me, or, like, this is the same exact shit his fans is, like, fucking verbatim. It's their Lord's Prayer. It comes straight from him. And then you add one of the best players that the NBA has ever seen. I mean, so, I mean, so now everyone's trying to, trying to figure that out. How do you how do you put together a group of talent, but also a group of minds as well um, to be able to compete? So that's what GMs and presidents and certain players. It's not every player. Every player does not want to. Sad to say, but every player don't want to compete for a championship and be in a position where every possession is pressure. Ben Simmons is willing to play alongside LeBron James, and according to Bet Online. Philly has the best off. What is this fucking LeBron death James rock music in the background right now? I'm uncomfortable. What do you make of that list of LeBron's destinations, Stephen A? Well, the four, uh, nobody knows. So the top four, you can throw them all out there. Philadelphia, Cleveland, Houston, and L.A. I am shocked uh, that the Clippers are on it. Right? I what the fuck? Nigga, no that chance. Was... Take that shit off. Why was that? That was a joke that was even on the bottom. Um, and if he went to the Warriors... That would be the ultimate stain on his legacy. I can't think of a worse move he could possibly make. And you know what, son? I think if LeBron went to the Warriors, his fans would find a way to justify it. Like, look what they made him do. It would be horrible, though. Over the last few years, and he has earned it, it would go right out the window if he joined Golden State. We'd be looking at him worse than we looked at him when he left for Miami. It's impossible. There's no even way that it could happen. You know what it is though? Them bum ass niggas like Bob Myers and Joe Lacob trying to speak that shit into existence. Cause they, they feel like that's what they did with the KD shit. They thought they just said it and nobody thought it was gonna happen and it fucking happened. And they trying that shit again. But it's not gonna happen. Cause LeBron James is too fucking great for that shit. He's better than that. Now everyone's saying, oh, Philly are the favorites to get LeBron. And in addition, of course, you know, Rich Paul uh, um, ben Simmons connection makes business sense as well. Can you imagine Ben Simmons trying to play off the ball? Because if you're LeBron James, this you know at this point, the best, he's chasing Jordan, and maybe he'll never catch him with championships, but it's not just about that. The important thing is that you get to the finals. Ain't gonna be in Cleveland next year. Celtics are gonna be too strong. He can't join the Celtics, because that's Kyrie's team. So where does he go? Well, Philadelphia is one place. Yo, Max looks fresh the fuck out of Just For Men commercials, huh? I'm telling you right now, as good as the Celtics are going to be, assuming there's a few more roster tweaks, I think Philadelphia gets out of the East. And if he goes to Houston, I think Houston gets out of the West. So either way, those are the two top destinations. Oh, he just, he just skipped past that fucking statement like it was mad casual, like... And if he goes to Houston, I think Houston gets out of the West. So either way, those are the two top destinations. I, we don't know for sure that they're going to beat the Warriors if he's there. First, Paul George has to sign in L.A. And then L.A. has to decide, do they want to trade Kuzma and Ingram? Would that get it done to get Kawhi? If Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are in L.A., yeah, I think they could get LeBron James. But there's a lot of things that need to happen to line up. So I agree with the odds. It's, it's Philly and Houston for the reasons I pointed out. And then L.A., I can't imagine him staying in Cleveland. If LeBron did somehow end up in Boston, I think it would be by means of a sign and trade with Kyrie going to the Knicks. I could see that shit speak that into existence. <laughs> if he signs a deal with Boston, Kyrie is just sawing off his fucking leg right on the <laughs> contract table. <laughs> Bro, he never wants to play with that nigga again. <laughs> Somebody said if LeBron was smart, he'd go to Brooklyn and form a big three with Spencer Dinwiddie and Karis LeVert. Honestly, why not? Even if LeBron James declines his player option and leaves in free agency, the Cleveland Cavaliers owner Dan Gilbert believes the organization can remain competitive. <laughs> That's adorable. Dan Gilbert believes that he can build a championship team without LeBron, and I think he is looking forward to trying. Nigga couldn't do it with LeBron. I named my son Cash after Cassius Clay and, and Johnny Cash, and his middle name is Delonte, but I didn't want to name him um, 
Delonte West Jr. just because of that. So Delonte West's son's name is Cash? I don't want my son going to school and, and people making fun of him for something his daddy did. And he go to school and say, oh, didn't your daddy have sex with LeBron, mama? Man, you don't need to deal with all that, man. That's perfect. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, go keep it